Danner has recreated the wild boot. And they're pretty cool looking. Boots. I like the, uh, the boot that they used on, on the book. I wanted to give it to the audience. When we were approached to recreate this, you know, authentic boot and to make it look like how it was back in the day, we were impressed with the filmmakers that they were going to go to that level of detail. And we were honored when they came to us and said, you know, can you make this? They made custom boots for us for this movie, probably like 30 pairs because we had to throw them off the side of the mountain like Cheryl did. She just absolutely cracks and throws her boot off the side of the mountain and decides to duct tape her sandals to her feet. And then she gets a replacement pair. Your boots from REI? Yes. How far are you walking those? Uh, about 50 miles. Are you sure there's not another package? Uh, I'm sure. And lady, if you walk 50 miles on duct tape, you got yourself the right package. It's great to have such a, a deep archive that's still currently made and that still resonates with a lot of people. It was difficult to, to find the leather that matched, but as far as us producing the boot and making it, we make that boot every day just in a different leather. So it was just changing out for Reese's size, uh, in essence, and swapping in these leathers to kind of recreate that beautiful old vintage hiking boot. When we do a special run, they ask me to be there. They ask me to make sure that everything is being done the right way, because I know the boots 100%. I created them, so I know them. The boots and the backpack have become part of my character. And what's extraordinary, this journey that she took, it's amazing in itself that she walked 1,100 miles. I just think it's even more extraordinary she did it by herself, completely alone. It's really remarkable. I mean, it's fun when I see anybody wearing our boots. I'm really excited, but uh, to have Reese do it and, and to be on the trail, we're honored. Even a child with normal feet was in love with the world after he had got a new pair of shoes. <laughs>